I shared with the Chavra and Shul a story that I heard from the great Mashpia from Ger. Rabbi Godla Eisner's Zechat Sadev Kodesh Levracha. He was the, he was the Rosh Hashiv, the Mashpia, Mashgiach and Chedush Harim in Tel Aviv. Survived many camps. He was an Kodesh. I met him once. And at some point later in his life, he was asked how he was able to survive. Not just to survive, but to be Rabbi Godel Eisner. And Rabbi Godel said that the war was winding down, and they already saw the American planes, Americans, Russians were coming. I don't remember the name of the camp that they were in. And Rabbi Godel said the Germans didn't want to be Mavata on these Jews. And even though they themselves were running for their lives, they took these Jews with them. And they came in at night into the barracks and they started hitting them and screaming at them to get up, to come outside. And they were terrified that this was finally it. And the Germans said that they're, they're going they're being transferred to another camp because the enemy was coming and we have to move to another camp, we have to run further away. And it turns out that this other camp was 14 kilometers away. Now the Germans wanted to have some fun even then with the Jews and therefore they insisted that the Jews run. Rabbi Godel said that everybody had to run. And these were people who couldn't move, you understand? They couldn't walk. And anybody who slowed down, anybody who stumbled would be immediately shot. And Rabbi Godel said that's exactly what happened after a minute. Screaming and shooting and crying. And, and Rabbi Godel said that he didn't have the kaiches to run. And he already felt that he was beginning to slow down, and he was getting ready to say Kriya Shema. And he said he'd figure, no, he'd see his parents, he'd see the Mishpacha. And that was the end. And he said that he was just about to slow down, and if you slow down, you get a bullet. He didn't have the Koychus, and he was just about to slow down. And all of a sudden, from nowhere, a few rows back, somebody screamed out, Life, good life. Run, Godel, run, run, run. And he doesn't know how. He said, for some reason, this mysterious person gave him some sort of chizik, life, Godel. And that somehow he said he doesn't know to this day that he was able to stand up and to move forward and to run the 14 kilometers out of the 1,100 Jews that were on that run, there were only a handful that survived. That mysterious Jew a couple of rows back, who when you feel that you can't move forward, and somehow he says, life, God, life, 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 run, go, you can. That's our dear friend Rabavi right over there. But let me explain a little bit more what this means. When Bnei Yisrael couldn't move, we were, we were by the Memtesh Shari Tuma. We couldn't move. We were stuck in Mitzrayim. So the Boyaylam speaks to Meishu Rabbeinu. And Moshe, when he says, Yisrael, How is it possible to take people like this out of Mitzrayim, out of the mates that they're in, out of that feeling of hopelessness, of despair, of discouragement? How is it possible to take them out? You have to have a cheshek, you have to have a rotsen to live. How is it possible? So the Isis and Moivsim, there are sticks and there are snakes, all kinds of fancy things. 
But everybody here knows and we all understand that as impressive as these ISIS were, miracles like that are not what are, not what are able to get the Jew up and running. When his world has collapsed, <laughs> there were three words. Those three words were ki eye imach. The Baruch Shalom said, tell them yadati es machoivav. I feel their pain. I understand what's hurting them. It hurts me too, and I understand what's hurting them. Yadati es machoivav. And Moshe when he says, and who should I say is sending them? What's your name? The Baruch says, Ki ayimach, ekya she ekya. Rashi says, Eye imam b'tzara zois. Tell them that I'm here with them in this tzara. Ve'eye imam b'shaya shibud malchias. And I'm with them in all future tzaras, whatever it is. B'chlal u'befrat. Ki eye imach. And for 12 months, Moshe Rabbeinu was running from one Jew to another Jew, like Avi. But more than 12 months, already 10 years. Running from one Jew to another Jew, saying, Eye imach. Kardim, the Bar Yerulam hasn't left you. The Bar Yishlam is with you. And I'm with you. Ke'ye imach. I haven't left you. I haven't forgotten you. Yadati es machoivav. I feel your pain, I know what you're going through. Now you know when you're in this matzah, because I remember <coughs> that that feeling of hopelessness that I mentioned a moment ago, that sound of life, Moshe, life, that came from my wife. And I hope that I was able to give that back to her. Because Eye imach is not only to hear Hashem calling out a couple of rows behind you and to hear Avi calling out into your ear Yadat yes machayvav Eye imach, I'm with you in this I'm with you I'm never going to leave you in the home, in the house Ki eye imcha b'tzarazais in our marriage I'm with you in this sorrow. We're here in this together. I'm with you in this sorrow. And I'll be with you, whatever it is, I'll be with you till the end. When you hear that in your home from the person who you most respect and love, it gives you the strength to get up and to move. I mean, heroic people like you despite the pain that many of you have gone through and are feeling, even at this moment, when you're able to somehow convey to the children, I'm with you in this sorrow. I'm with you, I understand you. Yadati es machoivav means I understand what's hurting you. It's not about me. It's about you. And I understand what's hurting you. And yadati es machoivav. And I feel that pain that you're feeling. I understand you. And eye imach, and I'm with you. Whatever you're going through, that a father and a mother can say to the children and that the children see that it's true, whatever you're going through, I'm here with you. I'm not leaving you. And when a child hears that, and somehow 
in that he hears that sound of that Jew a couple rows behind Rebbe Godel, by that death march or run, because so many of these kids feel that they're on a death march. And they can hear that voice of life, life, Avram, Sora, Rachel, Beryl, Sprinza, whatever the, that child's name is, life, life, you could do it. It's Nari Miofakumi. Get up. It's Nari Miofakumi. 